chapter 8 and 9. Next week will be uh, 11 and 12. This lecture for students who didn't take 8 and 9. Next week. Next week uh, is odd week. So this lecture for students who didn't take eight and nine. Okay, we're gonna start today with chapter eight. We are gonna work with markup and markdown, principle and break even analysis. Yes, next week. First thing we're gonna start with markup based on cost, then markup based on ceiling price, then markdown and principles break even analysis. First thing we start with the terminology. What is the cost? Is the price retailer pay to a manufacturer or supplier? This one we call it. The cost. Selling price is the price retailer charge the customer. What about markup or margin or gross profit? It's the difference between the cost and selling price. So the markup is the difference between the cost and selling price. What is the operating expenses? Like what? The regular expenses like rent. Wages, utilities, all this thing we call it regular expenses. The net profit is what? Is the amount remaining after what? We take off the cost, the operating expense from selling rice. So when you take the cost, operating expense from the selling rice, the left amount we call it net profit. Here we have the formula that we will work with. Selling price equal cost plus markup. This is the formula that we will work with. First thing, we work with markup based on cost. So cost plus markup give us the 127% of selling price. So we have the cost 100 plus 27. 78% markup give us 127.78 selling price. So you're gonna calculate eight and nine. So let's have first example calculate in dollar markup and percent markup on cost. Gap buys these jackets for eighteen dollars. They plan to sell them for twenty three dollars. What gap markup and what is percent markup on cost? So we have our formula. Selling price equal cost plus markup. We know selling price equal what? 23. We have cost equal 18 dollars. We ask you to find the markup and markup percent on cost. So let's Use the formula. Ceiling price we have 23 equal the cost $18 plus markup. Now we want to find markup. Markup will equal what? 23 minus 18. We take 18 to the left side by minus. So markup equal what? $5. Clear? Is that clear, everyone?
Okay. Now you want to find markup percent. He asks you markup percent on cost. Equal what? Markup percent equal markup divided by what? We're going to divide it here by 18 by the cost. Why we divide by the cost? Because he said to you what is markup percent on cost. So we divide 5 by 18. That will give us 0 0.2778. Which mean what? Twenty seven point seventy eight percent. Clear everyone? Now we're going to calculate selling price when we know the cost and percent markup on cost. Mills furniture bought land for $100. To make Mills desired profit, he needs 65% markup on cost. What is dollar markup? What is the selling price? So we know our formula. Selling equal cost plus markup. What's available information here? He bought a lamb. So that means... The cost equal 100. And we have markup percent 65%, which means what? We write it in a decimal 0 0.65. Now what? We ask you to find the markup and selling price. So, selling price equal the cost one hundred dollar plus zero point sixty five. The markup percent here we multiply it by one hundred. Why we multiply it by one hundred? Because he said to you it's markup on cost. So we do, we multiply the markup percent by one hundred. Now we have is equal one hundred. 0.65 multiply by 100 give us 65, which is the markup. So 100 plus 65 give us 165. So markup equal 65 dollar, and the single price is 165. Clear, everyone. Now we have another example. Jill Sport, owner of a sport, sells tennis racket for $50. To make her desired profit, Jill needs 40% markup on cost. Jill needs 40% markup on cost. What, what do the tennis racket cost, Jill? And what is the markup? So we ask you for the cost and dollar markup. So what we have information here? He sells tennis rackets. So selling price equal $50. And we have here markup percent, 40%, which mean what? 0 0.65. Now we use our formula. Selling price equal cost plus markup. So we know selling price is $50 equal cost plus markup. Here we have markup 0 0.40. Here we multiply it by what? 0 0.40 by the cost. So here we have 50 equal cost plus 0 0.40 cost. So we know here we have one. There is no number in front of letter. That means we have number one. And here we have 0 0.40. So 50 equal what? 
1.40 C. So to find the cost, we divide by 1.40. When we divide by 1.40, the cost equal what? Divide 50 by 1.40. Give you what? Thirty five point seventy one dollar. This is the cost. What about markup? What about markup? I will give you a break after. I will give you a break, but not now. So markup equal 14.29 because we subtract 50 minus so selling price minus the cost 35.71 give us the markup which is 14.29 is that clear everyone Now we work markup based on selling price. So we have percent markup on selling price. Here we have the cost, 78% plus the 21% markup give us the 100% selling price. Let's see our first example. The cost to go for hooded place jacket is $18. So we know the cost is $18. The store then plans to sell them for $23. So this one, the selling right. What is gap dollar markup and what is the percent markup on selling price? So we use our formula. Selling price equals cost plus markup. So we know selling price is 23 equals 18 plus markup. So what is markup equal? 23 minus 18 give us 5 dollars. Now we find the markup and he asks you here what is percent markup on selling price? We want to find the markup percent on selling price. So how we find markup percent on selling price? We divide markup the 5 dollars by what? By 23. Why well, we divide by 23? Because he, see, he said to you on selling price. So when you divide 5 by 23, give you what? So we know it was 0 0.217 for the United as a percent 21.73. It's 21.74. Why is 0.74? Because what? Because it was 0 0.21739. So we convert 3 to become 0 0.217. Yes, we're on. Is that clear, everyone?
Now we can create selling rows when you know the cost present markup on selling rows. So mill furniture bought lamp for. Okay, let's have a uh, uh, ten minute break. Let's have ten minute break for rain.
is complete. Uh, for this exercise, okay, we stopped with uh, this exercise, so we start with Mills furniture, put a lamp for one hundred dollar to make Mills desired profit. He needs sixty five percent markup on selling price. What are Mills selling price and dollar markup? He asked for selling price and dollar markup. We know our formula selling equal cost plus markup. So what information we have? He bought a lamp, which means we have the cost. And we have markup percent sixty five, which means zero point sixty five. So let's use the formula selling price equal the cost, which means one hundred dollar plus the markup. We have markup percent zero point sixty five. We multiply it by what here? We multiply by what? By S. Why we multiply it here by S? Because he said to you markup on selling price. So now let's solve the formula. Let's solve the equation. We move uh, 0.65% to the left side with minus. So we can what? S minus 0.65. S equal 100. S minus 0.65 give us what? We know there is one here. Zero point thirty five S equal one hundred. Now what should we do? We divide both sides by zero point thirty five. So S equal what? Is equal what? Two hundred eighty five point seventy one. Now you find ceiling price. What about the markup? You know, markup equals ceiling, markup equals ceiling minus the cost. So ceiling price is 285.71 minus 100, 185.71 dollar. Is that clear, everyone? We have now the another example. Jello Sports, owner of sports, sells tennis racket for fifty dollars. Uh, and to make her desired profit, Jill needs forty percent markup on selling price. He asked you for what? What is dollar markup? What is the cost? So we use the formula: selling equal cost plus. Markup. So, we, what do you have information? We give you selling price fifty dollar. So we have fifty dollar equal the cost plus markup. We have markup percent, which means zero point forty. We multiply it by what here? We multiply zero point forty by what? By fifty. So fifty equal. The cost plus what? Zero point forty multiplied by fifty. Twenty. Now.
now you find the cost. So the cost equals what? 50 minus 20 equals 30. What about markup? What is markup? We find markup. What is the markup here? What is the markup here? Is that clear, everyone? So we have the formula here. Selling price equal cost plus markup. What information he give you in the example? Sell tennis racket for fifty dollar. We know the selling price is fifty dollar, and he give you that forty percent markup on selling price. What he ask you for what? What is dollar markup, and what is uh, the cost? The what do the tennis racket cost, Jill? So we know we, our formula. Selling equal cost plus markup. We know selling price fifty dollar equal cost plus markup. We have markup percent here. He give you markup percent on selling price. So we have zero point forty. We multiply it by fifty. Why we multiply it by fifty? Because he said to you selling price markup on selling price. So. Fifty dollar equal cost zero point forty multiply by fifty give us twenty dollar. To find the cost we move the twenty dollar to the left side by minus so cost equal fifty minus twenty. Fifty minus twenty give us the thirty dollar. The cost. So what about markup? We already multiply 0 0.40 by 50. Give us the 20 dollars. Clear? Is that clear, everyone? Now we have, we have conversion. We use this formula for what? To, to converting for converting percent markup on cost to percent markup on selling price. So if you have percent markup on cost and you want to find the selling mar percent markup on selling price, we use this formula: percent markup on cost divided by one plus percent markup on cost give you percent markup on selling price. Here we have formula for converting percent markup on selling price to percent markup on cost. We divide percent markup on selling price by one minus percent markup on selling price give us percent markup on cost. Clear? Now we work with markdown percent. Markdown. Dollar markdown divided by selling price. To find markdown percent, we divide markdown by the original selling price. To find the markdown dollar, we subtract original selling price by the new selling price. Let's see this example. Sarah's markdown eighteen dollars to set ten point eighty. What are the dollar markdown and what is the markdown percent? So it was eighteen dollar, then decrease to become ten point eighty. First thing we find markdown, we subtract original minus the new. The original price was eighteen dollar minus the new price is ten point eighty. So what is markdown here? 
80 minus 10.80 is what? 7.20. What about markdown percent? Equal what? He said to you, dollar markdown divided by the original price. So we know dollar markdown is 7.20. We divide it by what? By the 18 dollar. So what is the markdown here? Forty. Here, become forty. So forty percent. Clear, everyone. Now we have principle. Price and vegetable items. Alvin vegetables turned to grow 300 pounds of tomatoes. He expect 5% of the tomatoes will not be, it will be spoiled, so it's not sellable. The tomatoes cost Alvin 0 0.14 per pound, and he wants 60% markup on costs. What is price per pound? Should I be charged for that tomatoes? So first thing, we find total cost, total selling, total market. To find the total cost equal what? How many pounds he grow? Three hundred. So we multiply the three hundred pounds by what? How? What is the cost per? Pound is 0 0.14. So we multiply 300 by 0 0.14. Give us what? 42. Total cost equal the total sand growth of, pound, uh, of tomatoes by the price per pound. So we have 300 pounds and P1 equal 0 0.14. So we multiply that 300 by the cost P1 pound. Give us 42 dollars. So to find total selling price equal total cost plus markup. So what is the cost here is 42 dollars plus what? What is markup here? He give us. 60% which means 0 0.60 you multiply it by what he give you here what information it's markup on cost so we multiply 0 0.60 by here we have 0 0.14 we multiply 0 0.60 by 42 so 42 plus 0 0.60 multiplied by 42 give us what? 13 plus equals 67.20. Now you find total selling price. He said to you here in the example. 5% will not be sellable. So what should we do with this 5%? He said 25% will not be sellable. And we grow 300. So to find the amount that will not be sellable, we will multiply 300 by 0 0.05 to find the amount that will, will not be sellable. When you buy, multiply 300 by 0 0.05, 5% mean what? Mean 0 0.05. So give us 15 will not be sellable. So we take this 15 tomatoes from the 300. So 300 minus 15 tomato give us 285. Right? 
then what should we do? To find the price per pound, we divide the 285 tomatoes that we will sell by the selling price by 67.20. Give us zero point twenty four. Is that clear, everyone? Here, here in the example, he give you in that question, zero point fourteen dollar. It's written in the question, Faisal. Is that clear, everyone? Okay. Zero. Now when you divide 285 by 67.20, uh, point twenty give you 0 0.24. Now we have contribution margin. Contribution margin equal what? Ceiling price minus variable cost. So contribution margin equals ceiling minus variable cost. Let's see the example here. Assume John's company produced bins that have ceiling price to the lot and variable cost 0 0.80. What is contribution margin? So we have ceiling price two dollars variable cost 0 0.80 let's find the contribution margin equal what ceiling price which means two dollar minus the variable cost 0 0.80 give us what what is contribution margin 1.20 is that clear So we use the formula contribution margin equals ceiling minus variable cost. We have ceiling price two dollars, variable cost zero point eighty. So two dollars minus zero point eighty give us one point twenty. Now we have break even point. Break even point is fixed cost divided by the contribution margin. So we have break even point equals six cost divided by contribution margin. Let's see. John's company produce pins. The company has fixed cost of sixty thousand. And each pin sells for two dollars with a variable cost of zero point eighty what is the break even point here? So break even point equal what? We have fixed cost divided by contribution margin. We know the contribution margin equal what? Selling price minus variable cost. So we have here fixed cost sixty thousand divided by two minus 0 0.80 which selling minus variable cost will give us what 50,000 sorry 50,000 pence 50,000 pence clear everyone Break even point. Is 
Is there any question in this chapter? Let's move to chapter First thing, we're going to work with uh, calculating various types of Omri's gross pay. Then we're going to compute the payroll for Omri and Omri responsibility. So here we have the payroll circle. So we have weekly, we have bi-weekly, semi-weekly, and monthly. So, the weekly, so some employees, they get their salary every week. So, they get it 52 times a month, uh, sorry, it's 52 times a year, which means once time a week. Some of them get, uh, have their uh, salary bi-weekly, which means 26 times in a year, two times uh, every two weeks. Here we have similarly. 24 times, which means two times a month, and at monthly 12 times in a year. So here we have our rate for uh, pay calculating of overtime. So if some if family work overtime, we're gonna calculate how much he will get for uh, how much money he will get for the overtime. Now we have. Gross pay, the gross pay equal what? Hourly employee work multiplied by the rate per hour. This is the formula that we will work with. Gross pay equal hourly employee work multiplied by the rate per hour. So in this example, we will work with this one. Hourly overtime uh, pay rate equal the regular hour rate multiplied by 1.5. So for this example, the uh, employee get the regular hour multiplier by 1.5 for the overtime. Let's see. So the gross pay equal the earning for 40 hours plus the earning for the overtime. Let's see the example here. Our Valdez work 13 hour Monday, 8.5 Tuesday, 10 Wednesday, 8 Thursday. 11.25 Friday and 10.75 Saturday, total with 61.5 hours. And he get how much per hour? The regular hours, he get $9 per hour. So the total is 61 hours. And what is the regular earning? Uh, the regular warning, uh, working hours? We know the regular working hours in a week is 40. Why we said 40? Because the uh, employees always work 8 hours in a day, 
multiply by five business days, give us the 40 hours. So every employee works eight hours a day, multiply by five days in a week, give us the 40, total of 40 hours. So let's see here. He, he works 61.5, so he will work more than 40 hours. To find, first thing we find how many hours over time. So 61.5 minus the regular hour, 40 hours, equal what? 21.5 hours. This is the overtime hours. We know that the rate per hour is $9 for the 40 hours. So for the overtime, we multiply $9 by 1.5. Give us what? $13.5 per overtime hour. So let's find the gross pay. Equal what? The regular 40 hour he worked. Multiply by what? By nine dollars plus how many overtime hours? It's twenty one point five. The overtime hours we multiply it by what? By the rate for the overtime thirteen point five. So what is the gross pay will be? The gross pay will be. Six hundred fifty point twenty dollars. Is that clear, everyone? Now we have another example: trade price per a rate pay. So here we have we work with the production. So gross pay equal number of units produced multiplied by the rate per unit. Now we don't work with hours, we work with unit of production. Here we have Brian Foss produced 900 dollars. He's paid 0.96 dollar per dollar. Calculate the gross pay. So the gross pay equal what? How many units he produced? He produced 900 units. We multiply by the cost P1, which means 0 0.96. Equal what? 864. Is that clear, everyone? Here we have gross pay equal number of units produced multiply the various rates per units. So here we have Logan Company pays Abby on the basis of the following, following schedule. For the first unit he produced, he will get 0 0.50 per unit. For the next 100, which means after 51 to 150 units, he will get 0 0.62. From 151 to 200, which means the next 50 units, he will get 0 0.75. Over 400, over 200, he will get 1.25. So every unit have different amount. Last week, Abby produced 300 dollars. What is Abby gross pay? To find the gross pay, equal what? First 50 unit. We multiply it by what? 0 0.50 plus what from 51 to 150 which mean 100 unit we multiply it by what 0 0.62 plus what from 151 to 200 which mean 50, which mean 50 unit 
to multiply it by 0 0.75. Plus what? Over 200. He produced 300. So 300 minus 200 equal 100. So 100 multiply by 1.25. That will give us 200, the answer, we'll write the answer here, 249.50 dollars. This is the answer. Clear, everyone? Is that clear, everyone? Here we have commission. Commission is a certain percent Percentage of amount a sale person sells. Draw is an advance on sale person commission. So let's see the example. Logan Company pays Jackie a straight commission 15% on her net sale, which net sale is that what? Here we have Logan Company pays Jackie a threat commission 15% in her in her net sale, net sale or total sale less the certain. In May, Jackie had a net sale of 56,000. Logan uh, gave Jackie 600 dollar draw in May. What is Jackie course pay? <coughs> so to find the course pay equal one. What is her net sale? 56,000. You multiply it by what? You have 50% commission. So we multiply it by 0 0.15. Give us what? $8,400. Now, he have he have as uh, he has sixty six hundred dollar draw. So eight hundred eight thousand four hundred minus the draw six hundred give us what seven hundred seven thousand eight hundred. Is that clear? We multiply we multiply net sale by the we multiply the net sale the 65 by the commission here 15 percent which means 0 0.15 then we subtract the amount draw give us the gross pay now i have Different commission rate for different level of net sale. Same as the unit production. So, last month, Jane Ring's net sale were 160,000. What is Jane's gross pay based on the schedule? So, if she have net, uh, sales 35,000, she will get 4% commission. Between 35 to 45, 6% commission. Over 45, she'll get 8% commission. So, the gross pay will be what? First, 35,000. You multiply it by what? 0 0.04, the 4%. Plus, between 35 to 45 is? Ten thousand dollar. We multiply it by zero point zero six plus one hundred sixty thousand minus forty five thousand equal what? Why ten thousand? Because thirty five minus forty five is ten thousand. 
give us here 115,000. So we have 115,000. We multiply it by 0 0.08. So the answer will be 11,200. Is that clear? Here we have salary plus commission. First pay equals salary plus commission. Logan company pays Joy 3000 monthly salary plus 4% commission for sale over 20,000. Last month, then its sale were 50,000. What is Joy course pay? So, first thing, first thing we have what? If she sells over 20,000, she sells 50,000. So, to find the gross pay, you can what? Her salary, the 3,000, plus what? 50,000 minus 20,000. Give us what? 30,000. Multiply by what? 0 0.04. Multiply by the commission. That will equal what? 4,200. Clear? Is there any question in this chapter? It's a very short chapter. Is there any question? Okay, if you don't have any question, you can leave. Allah